You better pay to fix that. I just have to make it that far. That'll buy me a little time, too. Ah. <laughs> you really thought you could get away from me, Varmint? Let me go this instant. Why would I do that? After all, it's my job to catch criminals like you. This ain't my first rodeo. You scoundrel, let me go. You see, I wasn't always Sheriff Toadster. For a long time, I was just a youngin', or as some called me. Thief, rapscallion, scamp. I'll admit I was a bit of a uh, rule breaker growing up. I was well known as the town delinquent. Thief, thief. See you around, old timer. I come from a little town out in the Wild West. Big town for cowpokes. But I wasn't interested in wrangling or farming. I had other things to worry about. When I was a teeny whippersnapper, my parents got real sick. At first it was just a little cold, but it got worse and worse. So I tried to take care of them, of the family. I turned to a life of crime, of thieving, to keep my parents comfortable in the time we had left. After all, someone had to provide, of course. The people I robbed sent the authorities after me every now and then, but I was slick enough to avoid their capture. That is, until one day. Rumors spread of a bandit, a real bandit, robbing people blind. I only ever took what I needed. I wasn't about hurting others, I just needed to help myself. Oh my god, please, take whatever you want, please just don't hurt me. I was coming home from a night of light looting. I could sense something was wrong. Someone had broke in. It wasn't nice being on the receiving end of being robbed, but it was far worse than anything I'd ever done. Ma? Pa? Whoever did this killed my parents. The only people I had. I was determined to find him and get my revenge, and I didn't have to look very far. Well, well, well. If it isn't the town failure. It was the bandit I'd heard tell about. Who are you? Why did you do this? It was really a waste of time. You've got next to nothing in this house. At least the others had gold, jewelry, something. All I saw were two sick old dogs. Don't talk about my parents that way. You're right. It's wrong to speak ill of the dead. Thankfully, I knew my dad kept his pistol by the bed. And I wasn't afraid to use it. That's a whole lot of gun for a little man. I'm a whole lot of a man for a little gun. <laughs> this is cute. Ah! Curse you! I'm gonna get you someday! I was too wounded to chase after him. I didn't even know if I was gonna make it. Honestly didn't care. What the heck is going on in here? You're under arrest. You've been robbing innocent people blind. But to do this to your own parents... I'd never hurt my parents! I think you got fed up with all the work and decided to take matters into your own hands. Well, you ain't gonna terrorize this town no more. Maybe I would have been better off if that bandit killed me. Wrongfully imprisoned after I tried to stop him, I decided when I got out, I'd lead a life of justice. What the? Justice came calling sooner than I thought. I saw some scoundrel breaking into the schoolhouse. What kind of son of a gun robs the school, huh? I knew I had to do something. If only to relieve my own guilt over all I'd done. All I had to do was find a way out. <laughs> Glad to see our tax dollars were putting in such good work. I followed him, and he didn't even see me coming. <laughs> I think I'll start with the science room. They don't need all that schmancy equipment. I subdued the thief easy peasy, but I couldn't be seen at the scene of the crime. So I left him for the sheriff to find himself. It was such a rush job. And that night I realized if I was gonna be forced to serve time, I was gonna serve the people too. I became a vigilante justice by night. For years I kept my town safe. And then one night, right before I was due to be set free, I caught a glimpse of a horse thief outside the jailhouse window. I decided to go for one last mission. And little did I know, M Marshall? Well, well, well. I had a feeling it was you. Me? You've been breaking now, haven't you? Yes. But all these criminals mysteriously getting caught overnight. You did it. Ah, I, I did. Well, son, I staged this. To lure you out. See if it really was you catching all these scoundrels. And if my suspicions were indeed correct, I wanted to make you the new sheriff for your selfless acts of justice. I'm becoming the new judge. 
so someone's got to fill my shoes. On that day, my life changed for good. I became the new sheriff, beloved by all, protector of the people. Under my protection, what happened to my parents would never happen again. Not in my town. But part of me still wanted revenge, and I almost got it. Because one day, I saw him. He looked different, but I knew. Bandit! Excuse me? You're the varmint that ransacked our town! Are you accusing me? I'm just a traveler crossing through. Likely story. I know you anywhere. What's all the hubbub, boys? This man! This is a real bandit! This is the one who got me locked up all them years ago! Do you have proof? Well, no. But don't you believe me? We've got to take him into custody! Please, Your Honor. I have no idea what this man is talking about. Sorry, Sheriff. Can't take a man to jail without evidence. Outskirts of town. Duel. Guns drawn at dawn. I was right. I had to settle this with a true duel. I'd been working on my aim, and I managed to fire first, but I missed. What the? No, no. And unfortunately, he got me in my bad arm, and he won again. Then everything went black. I woke up in this horrible room, tied to a metal table, and that's when I realized the bandit was none other than you! Welcome to your new home, Sheriff. You're the bandit? What on earth are you? I'm a genius. You! Don't worry, though. I apologize for my actions. I'll fix that arm right up. Don't you dare touch me! Don't you dare! Shh. Just close your eyes. Uh-oh. You're gonna pay for this, bandit! Here. Now that that's out of the way, I've got a date with Bambolina. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Bambolina. Hold still for me, won't you? You aren't gonna get away with this, Ban Ban. Oh, but I already have. I don't think so. <laughs> it's no use, Ben Melina. Now that I have this high-tech nanosuit, I have everything I need in order to build myself an army of robots. And you, Ben Melina, are going to be my very first soldier. Bye-bye, Ben Melina. And hello, Robo Ben Melina. <laughs> I don't feel so good. That's not what was supposed to happen. Hey, Bambolina? What the? Oh boy. Uh, Bambolina, this, uh, might be kind of difficult for you to hear. Ugh. Did you clone me again? Ban Ban, how many times do I have to tell you not to clone me? Ugh, this is getting ridiculous. No, Bambolina, just listen to me. That's not a- And why isn't she moving? Ban Ban, I've gotta say, you've made a lot of clones of me in your past, but this is clearly not your best for- Uh, what? Okay, Bambolina, just just don't freak out. I... I'm a ghost! Oh boy, she's freaking out. Bad Ban! You killed me! I didn't think it was going to kill you. I just wanted to turn you into my robo-slave. Whoa! Check it out! I can fly now? <laughs> this is crazy! Hey, being ghost isn't that bad. I think I can get used to this. Look, I've done a lot of weird experiments in my day, but I've never had to bring somebody back from the dead before, so I've got my work cut out for me. Do me a favor and just stay out of trouble until I can figure out how to fix this, okay? Can you do that for me? Uh, guess I'll have to build my army of cybernetic beings another day. <laughs> Man, being a ghost is awesome! Ooh, I wonder what other cool ghost stuff I can do. Mm -hmm -hmm. Hey, what's that? 
Coach Pickles loves getting clean. Oh, man. Oh, this is perfect. Ooh, I'm about to give Coach Pickles a scare of a lifetime. <laughs> Uh, hello? Is somebody there? Hey, uh, I don't know who's out there, but I call tips on the shower and I need at least another five minutes to scrub my trunk. Whoa, what the? Who's doing this? What's going on? Okay, this isn't funny anymore, guys. The shower's supposed to be a place for privacy and you know I don't like it when people catch me practicing my singing. Behind you? Huh? Coach Pickle, please don't run! It's just me, it's Bambolina! Oh, come on, Coach Pickles, can't you take a scare? Oh, man, I can't believe I just saw a ghost! Whoa! Whoops. Uh, Coach? Coach Pickles? Oh, boy, this is not good. Whoa, 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 I'm flying? What the heck just happened to me? Oh boy, Coach, you uh, I'm gonna sit down for this one. Am I dead? Huh? How strange. Oh wow, you actually took that surprisingly well. Well, good for you, Coach. This is awesome. I feel as light as air. Oh, I've gotta go scare someone. That'll be fun. Wait, no, Coach, don't leave. Let's go stick to together. <sighs> well, never mind. Man, I love being a ghost. I'm completely free. Huh? Here comes Queen Bouncilia. Oh, this will be perfect. Hmm, I wonder where everyone is today. Got you now, Queen Bouncilia. What the? Whoa, so this is what it's like being Queen Bouncilia, huh? Hey, what the heck do you think you're doing? Get out of my body. Oh, come on. I just want to bounce around for a minute. Let me have some fun. Wee! I'm so bouncy! Oh boy. Ah! Oh man, I am so sorry! Uh, I'm dead? This is the afterlife! Hey, hey, this is kind of cool! I know, right? Being a ghost is awesome, isn't it? Better than sharing a body with you, that's for sure! Yeah, well, I probably deserve that. Now leave me alone. I want to haunt somebody while I have the chance. Hey, have fun. Hope it goes better for you than it did for me. Oh, look, the list here. And there's your body. <laughs> Sorry again. Oh, the kitchen. And it smells like something good's being cooked up. Now, let's see if Chef Pixter here can handle the heat. <laughs> hmm. Just a dash more salt. Oh boy, this is gonna be my most delicious stew yet. My focaccia! Oh no, oh lord! Mmm, the soup of the day! Don't mind if I do! Oh, that is delicious! Oh, fiddlesticks! Now I have to restart! What the? My stew! Why, you little. What the? I tried to tell you. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, that might be one ingredient too many. Now, oh, my stew! What have you done? You're worried about your stew? Chef Pixter, I'm not sure you fully grasped the situation you found yourself in. Now, what is this? There wasn't supposed to be any ham in this stew. My hand, it's not affected by the flame. Chef, I'm really sorry to have to be the one to tell you, but... I'm invincible? Uh, not quite. And apparently I have telekinesis. This is wonderful. Now I can cook at twice the speed. Well, I guess death doesn't affect everyone the same way. Oh, this is gonna be delicious. Okay, now I really hope this works. Da potestatum non natanos. Meox vocari. Hey, what's the big idea? Why'd you summon us here? Yeah, I have a cake in the oven. 
Yeah, well, I'm sure we all have stuff we'd like to get back to. For me, that would be building a robot army. But for now, this is going to have to take priority. Whoa, hold on now. That better not do what I think it does. Ban Ban, we like being ghost. Yeah, we don't want to go back to our boring lives. Well, I'm really sorry, guys, but I'd rather not live the rest of my life in a house of horrors. Well then, you leave us no choice. Spirits, attack! Sorry guys, but the haunting hours are over. Oh, I don't think so! Just let us be ghosts! No! But it's fun! Well, too bad. Ah! Gotcha. Now to put you all back. Uh, what happened? My body feels so heavy. Well, I've got good news and bad news for all of you. The bad news is you're all alive again. Oh man! <sighs> What's the good news? Robot Army is back on the menu. Woohoo!